Yeah, it's still a nice little pickup though. It drives good. That's why I build it. It was my favorite thing. Well, that, that rear end really pushes how you feel it. Oh yeah, anytime you want to turn, it's it's gonna shove you somewhere. So basically, you've had this truck what since what year? I bought it in '88. I didn't actually build it into the state of the daily driver until oh, about three years later in '92. 92 is what that was the first time you built it though. That's the first time, yeah. And you drove it up until here, what, a year or two ago? Uh, about two years ago, yeah. Two years ago. I started rebuilding it to this state. Total frame off restoration. Yep. You started just cleaning a motor up and you ended up doing the whole truck. Yes. <laughs> so, what gear ratios it really got in it? It's 350 in the back and 354s in the front. But that rear end, it's a locker rear end. Yes, it's a mechanically physical locker. It really pushes the truck. You can tell that this thing will get around pretty good in the snow or the sand and stuff. Yes. I see. It was always a single spin rear end, and so I knew that's some type of rear end I wanted to put in it uh -huh. for everyday go four wheeling stuff. So it's like a 31 splice. Uh, four nine inch, ain't it? Yes. Yeah. That's why the front gear ratio is different than the back, is because the Dean that front end they didn't have 350 gears and Ford didn't have 354, so that's what you got. So the 390 in it is from a, uh, is it the original Schmote motor for the truck? And it's the original motor for the chassis. The, the like the 75. Yeah, the chassis was complete. 390 has been bored over 30. Yep. So what's that make it keep again twice? Is that a 396? A what? 396. 396. Yep. That's the cube again to this plug into the wizard for the Hall EFI. All for the fuel injection. Yep. And then it's got the C6 heavy duty transmission in it. Yes. And it's, it's all been rebuilt and everything else by Wilbur. Wilbur, so that's a, he's a good tranny builder too. Yeah, he does all my transmission stuff. New tires, new wheels, new brakes. It's a nut and bolt restoration except that everything's been replaced or cleaned up or re-chromed or reconditioned or re-cleared or... Every clip and nut bolt has either been refurbished and or replaced. I notice all the glass is really good shape in it, all brand new too. It's all new about it. It looks nice. All the rubbers around it and everything are nice. Yeah, all of the rubber is new, all of the glass is new. A bunch of the sheet metal was new, cab particularly. And you metal finished that cowl induction in there, didn't you? Yes. All lead finished and everything else. They did build that seam up there on the hood too, I see. Yes. I don't believe in using filler except just a very skim to fill in the imperfections. Right. It's It's got its place. A lot of people get a little carried away with it. You get it too big and stuff like yeah. that. No, it, it'll flatten a panel, but as far as the mechanical strength of it for a pickup, I don't believe in it. I noticed the heater works really well. Oh yeah, it's, it's working overtime here. <laughs> it is, it's getting hot in here. Yeah, <laughs> and you got the, you got a trader brake on it, you got a, a receiver hitch in it, so you're ready to go out and pull a boat, whatever you want to pull. Yep, it's all been trouble shot as far as it functioning. Treader brakes, everything else, and then it's got the blakers, all that great work for your trailer. Yep. Dash is nice. Is this new or is this a new? Yep. Brand new dash. There's nothing inside to speak of that isn't new. Uh-huh. The headliner sun visors are the original ones. I just recovered uh, them. I just sprayed them with vinyl spray. Oh, okay. Black. Made them prettied up a little bit. Yeah, the glass is all nice. Dome light. The dome light works good. I've used it the other night to get in and out of it. That sniper fuel ejection. That the other day when we did that cold start, it started just like that. I'm really happy with that. That that seems to be the way to go nowadays. That is uh, a plus over the carburetor for sure. So what what is this other fuel pump thing we got in here? That's that's the, the electric fuel pump. To, uh, that's the high pressure pump is in a FI Tech box, and so your mechanical pump is feeding the box fuel, and then the high pressure pump is feeding the sniper. It's pretty quiet. You don't hear a bunch of noise either. The, those other ones, a lot of them guys put these snipers on. They use that fuel pump that goes on the frame rail. Yeah. And they're noisier than hell. I, 
this is quiet. I like this, how this is working. And I know that's the cure for the problem is use that FI Tech piece. That yeah, fuel pump they sell with it with the, on the frame rails is okay, but it, it, I think this is the way to go. It sure seems like a, the best way I've seen. To, I had a, a Dan's done one like that, and it sure makes it quiet, and makes them start a lot better. You don't, I, the biggest thing is that noise. And those fuel pumps that sit on the rails get really hot. And their, they burn up. their high pressure noise is different than the low pressure noise, so you don't understand that to start with. The kick down and everything seems like it's where you want it. That yep. works pretty good. That's yep, working fine. All of those bugs and adjustments takes a while to get all out. Yeah, I like this truck. It's nice. Paint job is nice and shiny. Looks good. You got five tires. I noticed you got the spare tire. It looks just like the rest of the tire wheels. They're brand new too, ain't they? Yes. All brand new. And because of the locker in the back, if you had a flat tire on the back, you have to have the same size tire or it really raise hell with the rear end. Oh, I bet. I bet. All the drag links and all that stuff's all brand new, I noticed. That all looks nice. Yeah, anything that had any type of known wear just from age you got replaced. Actually, how much do you really got in this truck? Uh, so you got like $34,000 $34, in receipts. Yeah, receipts. Get me anything for and, the truck to start with. And then you, you work for what, a dollar an hour now? Or 10 cents. <laughs> On this project. Yeah, I'm kids, yeah. Yeah, it's not cheap to build these things anymore. You're so much better off just going out buying something that's like finished like this than buying one that needs restored because it's going to cost you $34,000 to restore it. Oh, yeah. Uh, people are way money ahead to buy something that's done anymore. Yeah. Restorations, it's just a money pit. A lot of these custom guys will get you in their shop, and by the time you walk out, you've got 100000 plus in it, and you still don't have the truck that you wanted. Exactly. So, that's yeah. why I like to have car type tires on these pickups is because they ride and drive so much nicer. That P series tire. Yeah, the motor in this pickup is probably the 30th one of these FEs that I've built. 30th? 30th. My word. How many you got left? I I don't know, I've been building them for 40 some years. Yeah, so, well yeah. your nickname is FE, ain't it? Yep. There ain't too many guys that build these anymore. That know how to build these. They know how to. And they're yeah, see, there you guys doing it, but a lot of them don't know what they're doing. That's the new era of new motors nowadays. And these motors, I have things that I do to them that I can't explain to other people to make them more reliable and uh, bulletproof, let's say. Yeah. In the welding system, basically. But well, these things ran forever, anyways. They're great old motors. This one's brand new. Yeah, it looks fresh as you get. And the co and it was a specialty color from the factory. And what what do you say this color was? 1965 something or? It's a 1965 Lincoln car color, charcoal gray metallic. Charcoal gray metallic. I like the color. You don't see too many of them in that color range. Oh, there's a lot of metallic in the paint. Oh yeah, big time. It shows up better in that turquoise coat than it did in the old original enamel. It's got a nice shine to the hood and stuff. It sh shows off flat panels really well. Just being that shiny, I get New stereo speakers, yep. I had that on earlier. That sounds really good. Retro sound and the speakers are behind the seat, basically. That sounds good, too. No, I think everybody will really I'd like to have it myself. I really think this is a nice truck. A lot of these guys uh, build these trucks online and I see them, but you're the only guy I see that does the attention to detail like you do. You know, you get the, the hood latch has all been sandblasted back to original kind of look what it was like the factory. The latches and the doors are all cleaned up. They don't have overspray all over them. The screws and the doors are all taken out, painted individually, or not painted, but just cleaned up individually. And uh, That's how it's supposed to look. And a lot of these guys, they just overspray everything and put it together. The truck, they, their trucks look really good, but their attention, that detail, that's what I noticed in this truck is so much higher. You know, it's just the older school people that build these things, but uh, the, the attention detail in this truck is just amazing. Well, and you have to think something of the vehicle to want to build it to that quality to start with. Well, that's what you like to build. Yeah, this is my daily driver for 32 years. Yeah, well, you got to know one just like you drive still to this day. Yeah. 
I just got too carried away building it. Got too much money in it now. Time to sell. To keep it. Well, you did that to the orange and white one too. We sold. Yep. <laughs> you get them too nice and you don't want to drive them. It's exactly right. Yeah. Too nice. That's the thing I liked about this as a daily driver every day was the automatic transmission, power steering, power brakes, all those things that they didn't have in 68 in a four wheel drive. Right. Like two wheel drive pickups that had power steering and power brakes, but not a four wheel drive. Right. The power steering and power brakes would be nice. Yeah, this thing would be nice to hook a boat to and head out to the lake with or whatever you want to do. And it's still that. It's got everything that somebody would like. Very nice truck and get back in it and go do something tomorrow that you want to do and it starts back up and goes again tomorrow that's what I that's how I drove it every day is like get back in it it goes for it.